Hello, this is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kringen, Seattle. And I wanted to say that I just wanted to do a positive uplifting update because there's a lot of stress and fear in the world right now. Uh, I'm focused on my health. I'm focused on walking in the woods every day, getting exercise, getting vitamin D in the form of sunlight on my skin. It is now Friday, October 9th, 2020. And I just worked with medical students on uh, my webcam for the first time because I usually go in person to the school and I do a role play. I do two different things for medical students. I am a standardized patient, which means uh, for physical exams, for breast and gyne exams. Uh, and then I also am a standardized patient for students learning to be therapists or counselors or work with somebody on coaching them about their health and their fitness and their nutrition and their diet and their exercise, their overall physical health. Um, so I just played a role where I played a character that was not me. I got to pick a different name than my name. My name is Shannon Cregan. I picked the name Jane today. Um, and I worked with them. I pretended like I was a different age than the age that I am. And I just want to assess and assert that I'm so grateful that I'm able to work in this capacity. I would love to work more online from home with my webcam in new ways. And being a standardized patient for medical students is something I've done for over 20 years. And I used to be really shy. I'm basically an introvert, mostly. But I'm one of those performance art introverts who writes poetry and spoken word. And I'm a, an art model um, who poses nude for artists who draw and paint and sculpt. And I've modeled for photographers. So I guess I'm not shy in terms of being a model. But, but I am kind of shy in a way. I'm introspective and introverted. And so... But I really feel comfortable playing the role of acting in terms of, I've taken some acting classes, but I also, I find that they give me a script with general information about the character that I'm playing. And then for like 20 or 25 minutes, I talk with the student and they pretend like they're doing a counseling session or a medical session with me on trying to work with me on how I can improve my health and what my goals are. I've also done a lot of therapy, like I've been in lots of therapy, and so I have a lot of experience with that. So I'm really good at dialoguing back and forth and doing role play in that way, and then I give feedback. And what's interesting is I feel like I learn a lot because every student that I work with, whether it's a physical exam they're doing or interviewing me, um, I, I feel like they bring different things out in me depending on the student. Like one of the students I work with today had a big smile and she had a very enthusiastic personality that made me um, feel like my sense of humor was triggered. And so I was making fun of my problems and laugh and her and I laughed about some of the voices in my head that were stopping me from improving my health. And the other students made me feel more serious, but that wasn't bad. It was just different. So other students have a more serious energy. And this woman, the last woman I just worked with, was a more humorous, smiley kind of person. And so each student I work with brings out a different part of me. Maybe I'm a bit of a chameleon. And so that fascinates me. And so I like giving feedback. See, then at the end, I tell the person what I think they did well, my favorite thing that they did. Um, and then I say, and you can improve upon, and then I say something. And then the last thing is something more positive. So it's like a sandwich style of criticism and praise. Um, so I talk about how they built rapport with me, and then I talk about what they can do better, and then I talk about something that I liked about their overall personality and how I feel working with them on improving my health. And so I'm so grateful that I'm able to do this work from home. Um, I still do a little bit of art modeling at uh, in person for private groups and one art school is starting to hire us again with new rules. I got into art modeling over 20 years ago when I took figure drawing classes 
And honestly, I never enjoy drawing the figure. I think figure models are beautiful. Um, figure drawing is beautiful, but my favorite kind of art is non-representational Hunter Wasser style abstraction and design and color and composition that's really well done. And that's the kind of art that I make um, is more abstract, expressionistic. Here is an example of a design that I drew that is a non-representational. I'm inspired by the shapes I see in nature and plants and animals and, and landmass geography. So this is some of my artwork. Um, and so I got into figure modeling. I took, I studied graphic design after high school and then I got into figure modeling um, because I took figure drawing and I really admired the models that I got to draw, men and women both, and I thought I think it'd be more fun to be the model than to draw the model. So I got into figure modeling in my early 20s and I'm now 51. So I started at 22 or 23. So I've, only, I'm almost, I've modeled almost 30 years at this point. Uh, now that I'm in my 50s, I'm now 51 years old, going to be 52 in October of 2020. So I got into art modeling that way. And then the medical student, the medical school contacted the art school uh, asking for art models that would be comfortable working with medical students because you basically have to be nude in front of medical students. Uh, so it's anatomy, art school anatomy on a whole different level with medical students. So I love it when they say latissimus dorsi and I'm going to palpate the tissue, I'm going to examine, check. I know all the different words that medical professionals are supposed to use versus the words they're not supposed to use. It's been interesting to see how medical students are trained in terms of how they do the physical exams as well as verbal talking with the patient, what's professional, what's not professional how to touch the patient, how not to touch the patient, um, how to, how much pressure to apply when you palpate the tissue. They, when medical students feel your glands, they call that palpating the tissue. And I find that fascinating. And I never knew how much, how many lymph nodes I had until I started working with medical students. Uh, I know the different names of my glands. It's interesting. And if they see anything unusual, they'll tell me, hey, get this checked out by your doctor. Um, they don't really do real exams on us, but they sort of pretend and walk through it. Um, but if they see anything unusual, they will let us know and then have us tell us to go to our real doctor and ask about it. So it's kind of good to know if anything unusual appears on my anatomy that students will tell me. Um, so I love working with medical students and I love working with art students and my own art is fully uh, non-representational abstract art and poetry and music and spoken word and radio show monologues. So I just wanted to share that I'm happy and grateful on this October 9th, 2020. Uh, my radio show, Goddess Screen Radio, is on every week on Hollow Earth Radio. Uh, .org, and then I, I archive it on Mixcloud and Patreon, and then I have this YouTube channel and my BitChute channel, and I'm going to probably put this video on Facebook, BitChute, and YouTube, um, and share it on all my social media. I think it's important nowadays to question authority and to focus on your health and try not to do try not to get too caught up in fear and trying to figure out the future because so many changes are happening with our financial lives and our medical lives and the rules. Uh, I'm a big fan of walking in nature every day barefoot if possible. If there's no pesticides being used, I walk barefoot on the earth for my health, for my mental and physical well-being. I eat as healthy as I can. Uh, as much real food as possible, as little uh, sugar and flour as possible. I quit eating wheat in 2012. I feel great. So I just wanted to make this video to say I'm doing well. I'm a bit stressed out. Things are weird in the world, but I'm so grateful I can work with medical students and art students. And some of it's online and some of it's in person. And I have my creative writing group. I just wanted to check in with you and, and tell you how I'm doing. My main website is shannonkringen.com. If you want to join my Patreon or look at my art or my music or just 
you look at my oh my Flickr photos. I have over five or six thousand Flickr photos that are free to publish under a Creative Commons license. Uh, so you can look at my art for free and share it freely. And I just wanted to share that. I feel good. I I made my necklace. This is a glass necklace that I made at my friend's my friend Anne's uh, glass studio. Thank you, Anne, for helping me make this. Uh, I arranged the glass and then she fired it for me in her kiln. Yay. Okay. So have a good day, everyone. Wishing you all well. I have a figure drawing group right now. It's it's October of 2020. Uh, right now I model every Monday from 1 to 3 p.m. and 4 to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That might change, but for now, as of October 9th, I, I model every Monday on my webcam. And just message me if you want to find out how to join that. And there is a fee. It's a sliding scale fee. Pay what you can afford. Um, just ask me if you're interested. So thanks for watching. Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kringen, Seattle. Yay, I'm an artist and a model, and I hope you're doing well. Bye for now.